We all know that tech packs are super important and necessary documents if you're producing physical fashion products. And I created this video a while ago discussing different types of apps that you can use to create those tech packs. I recently got a chance to use one of those apps I discussed, Tech Packer. I hadn't had a chance to use it previously, but I had been told that it makes the tech pack process simpler and easier. And I have to say, it's true. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, Tech Packer can do much more than just create tech packs. And in fact, I plan to do other videos in the future highlighting it as an option for PLM. And I plan to do a video talking more about PLM for those of you who just asked, um, what is PLM? But if you're a fashion freelancer who does a lot of tech packs, and even for designers who have your own brand, Tech Packer's tech pack capabilities and ease of use can really streamline your workflow and allow you to complete your tech packs a lot more quickly than if you were still working in Excel. So I'm gonna take you through creating a simple tech pack and emailing it to a factory. When you first open Tech Packer, you get to a screen where you're able to start organizing your tech packs into folders right away. If you're a freelancer, you may want to organize your folders by client or even by style so you can quickly choose a previous style to use as a template. Or if you're a brand with multiple labels or you design for private label, you may want to organize your folders that way. To create a folder, click the add folder button, then Click the three dots in the lower right corner of the folder and choose Folder Settings to name it. Then click the X to close the settings and then click the folder. To start creating your tech pack, click the plus to add a new tech pack under the yellow design tab. The first thing you'll do is add your information to the cover page. I will usually add the style number, a short description of the style, and either drag and drop or click to upload the flat sketch front view of your style. And one thing to note here, and I think it's pretty significant and pretty cool, is that Tech Packer does recognize Illustrator files. So you don't necessarily need to create separate ping files, which is what you normally need to do if you were adding those files to Excel or Google Sheets. Just keep in mind that it will only recognize one artboard. So if your Illustrator file has two separate artboards, say with a front view and back view on each, it's not going to recognize them separately. The next tab labeled sizes will allow you to add your size range for the style. And if something is missing, you can also add a custom size. So for this style, the size range is SML XL. So first I'll click add all for SML and then type XL in the custom size area and add that size. And now that your size range has been added, you can specify the sample size. And I really love this option because in Excel, I would normally highlight the column that would be the sample size. And there have been many times when I've forgotten to do it. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I've wasted a day because the overseas factory had a question about that. And I wasn't able to answer the question until the next day. Last thing to specify is units, which for me in the US is inches, which is a default, but you can easily change the units of measurement to centimeters. Next are the colors your style will be carried in. And for many of us, there will definitely be custom colors. So just type those in and click add. And note that if you add a color accidentally or a color you no longer want, just click the minus next to the color name to delete it and then choose your sample color. The next thing you're going to add are keywords. And these are helpful if you're looking for a style and maybe not sure what client or what season. I know in the past, I've been asked to find an old style to reuse or repurpose, but the person asking couldn't remember the exact style number or maybe wasn't sure of the season. Having keywords attached to the style can make it easier to find it later. So for this style, I'm going to add spring, sweatshirt, and cropped. Custom fills are helpful to add if there's certain information you always want to appear on your line sheet reports. 
I'm not going to cover how to add them in this video, just know it's something you can add. And if you're unfamiliar with line sheets, you can check out this video to understand what they are, why they're different from a CAD and why you need one. The last section is time tracking, which is a really cool feature to help you monitor your product development. To use this, you'll also need to set up your stages first, which I'll talk about briefly next, but it's a great way to make sure that you're hitting your deadlines and staying on track to produce and deliver your products in a timely manner. When you first start creating your tech pack, you'll notice there are three tabs for design, sampling and production. These are called stages, which reference your stages of development. And it's a great way to track and get a quick overview of where your styles are in the development process. There are three stages in Tech Packer by default, but you can add additional custom stages, like say you wanted to add a stage for fit or pre-production. What I also like is that you can drag and drop your style into a new stage, similar to a Trello board. Once you complete the basic setup, it's time to start adding the details. So click the tech pack and this will take you to the next screen where you can start adding your details, sketches, materials, and measurements. In today's video, I'm only going to cover sketches and materials and I'll cover measurements in a separate video. But essentially, if you've seen my tech pack template, this is the design details and the BOM and colorways pages. And it's even easier to use in Tech Packer because of the drag and drop features. So let's first add some sketches. I'm going to start by just dragging and dropping ping files of the front and back view. The sketches are automatically named whatever the file is named. So if you want something different, just double click and update the text. You can also reorder the sketches by dragging what's referred to in Tech Packer as cards. Next, I'm going to add additional details to each sketch by clicking the gear to open the card settings. Here you can rename the sketch if you haven't already. You can also add more descriptive details about the sketch. This next part is what I really like most about this. Image and annotations. I used to do all of this in Illustrator and then save a separate sketch to add to Excel. But with Tech Packer, I can add all of my annotations directly in the program. Switch to the image and annotations tab and to add an annotation or what I usually refer to as a call out, just start drawing on the sketch and drag a line from the detail. A number will attach to the call out and in the right side column, add information about the detail. Remember that you don't need to add measurement details here. These are more general details about the design itself. Like on this one, I'm pointing out the ruffle detail and that the neck band and bottom band is self fabric, but the cuffs are one by one rib. And of course you'll also detail that within your BOM where you specify placement of the fabrics, but certain features I like to reiterate as a call out to ensure that it's not missed. You can add more keywords here. And this is really great for details that you may want to repeat like inside views. I know when I used to work on outerwear, we had sketches to show how to tie a zipper puller on a zipper slider or how the bungee cord was threaded through a cord lock. And once we drew that detail sketch once, we would reuse it over and over again in other tech packs. So if you can search it by a keyword, instead of having to look through old tech packs and try to remember if that old style used that detail, it's obviously much quicker and efficient. You can add additional comments about the sketch, attach additional files, even at someone within your organization so they'll get an alert to look at your comment. And in the last tab, add an approval status and a due date. If you have additional detailed or blown up callouts, you can drag those pictures into Tech Packer and add additional details as I've just done with the front and back sketches. And then move on to materials. The material section is what we'd normally designate as the BOM in a tech pack. And not only are you adding fabric and trim here that's on the actual garments, you'll also want to add things like labels, hang tags, even packaging if you have that information. The BOM should list all materials that are included in the cost of the garment so that when a manufacturer gives you a price for your product or if you're doing your own costing, you can get an accurate cost breakdown of how much the garment truly costs. 
at least raw materials. Again, what I love about this is the drag and drop aspect of adding your materials, but I also think it's super helpful that there's a thumbnail of what each thing is, so it's a lot more visual than a regular Excel chart. BOMs are notoriously one of the hardest parts of the tech pack, and I think making it more visual for a designer definitely helps make it easier. To add a material, drag and drop the picture of your material, or you can click add material to add a new empty row that you can populate. I'm going to click the material thumbnail to open the details and like the sketches cards, you can add a picture if you haven't already done so, a title and description, which might consist of fabric name, fiber content, fabric weight, annotations, keywords, comments, status, and there's an additional tab here that allows you to see all the materials within the garment at once. This is a section I would definitely customize because if you've seen the BOM page in my tech pack template, you'll notice there are a few additional columns. So I'm going to click the add remove columns icon and add or update a few additional columns. I'm also going to reorder the columns so that they make more sense to someone reading this BOM. And then you can just start typing in the cells to add your information. The only thing I tap the cogwheel for and go back into the card settings is to set the status. And note that you can populate all of your information in the card settings window. I just personally choose not to. Also, notice the color coding of each row once you set the status, which is a great visual indicator of what's approved, what's pending, what's rejected. That's really helpful. So as I mentioned, I'm not going into the measurement section in this video, but let's act as if we finished that section because you will need it. And I want to show you how to create a PDF of the tech pack to save and download the tech pack, click on doc view, and you immediately start to see the printable version of the tech pack. In the doc settings, you can decide what information to include or exclude, change the document font size, which I am definitely going to do because eight point is too small for my visually challenged eyes. You can also choose what sketches to include as well as what materials. And you can also view previous versions of your tech pack, which I think is amazing. Having dealt with vendors in the past using old versions of tech packs, this is a really great feature that ensures everyone is always downloading the latest and greatest version. Also, your manufacturer can click a button to see the differences between the most recent and previous version so they can quickly determine your updates. And that's also very beneficial. So lastly, you're ready to share the tech pack with your factory. And there's a couple of ways to do this. The first thing you'll do to start this process is to click save and send. This is going to save a version of your tech pack. The default is to save it by date and time, but you can also click the three dots next to the tech pack and choose rename if you'd like to change the name to something like Proto Tech Pack or Final Production Tech Pack. Something more descriptive to easily identify the Tech Pack stage by the title. Then you can either download your Tech Pack as a PDF or Excel file, attach and email it to your vendor, or you can click the send button and send and communicate directly through Tech Packer. And this is where Tech Packer can also begin to function as a PLM system, which many smaller fashion brands don't use, but probably should, as it'll really streamline a lot of your communication and processes. For those of you who know what PLM systems are and how beneficial they can be, you probably also know that many of them can be very expensive. So many smaller, even mid-sized brands don't use them because they're just too pricey. Tech Packer can definitely be a simple, effective, and inexpensive PLM solution. So if you're at the point of needing one, you should definitely try out Tech Packer.
One of the reasons to use a PLM system is to streamline your communication. And one of the reasons I suggest you use the send button directly from TechPacker instead of downloading and emailing your TechPack is so that all of your communication is held in one place. If you're looking back to find out what your manufacturer said about a sample delay or an issue they were having, you don't have to go searching through Gmail or your Outlook inbox. You can just look at your communication in TechPacker and it's all there. So once you hit send, another window opens that will start an email for you. Enter your manufacturer's email address and update the subject and email contents as needed. Just make sure you don't remove the link to view your tech pack. Note that if your manufacturer is in China, you need to check the box at the bottom to attach a PDF. But once you hit email, a copy of your email shows below the current tech pack and your vendor receives an email with a clickable link to view it. When they click the link, they're invited to sign up for a free vendor account with TechPacker. However, they are still able to view and download your TechPack if they choose not to do that. So far, I can see why I've had colleagues say to me that I need to be using TechPacker. It's definitely a simple way to do tech packs and so much more. It's also quite honestly faster than using Excel or Illustrator. And it's a great solution that can allow you to do so much more as your business and fashion brand grows. And you need to start managing and tracking more inventory or more clients. If you're a smaller freelance business or brand, you might be thinking about the price tag and trust me, I get that. I would suggest you think about how much business you're getting monthly. If you're a freelance fashion designer or studio who offers doing tech packs as your service, one tech pack per month should cover the cost of your getting a monthly plan. And if your business is consistent enough at this point that you're getting at least one tech pack request per month, you should consider subscribing for a year. If you're a fashion brand, you may not be doing tech packs every month. In fact, you shouldn't be, not every month. But your product development will probably last at least two to three months, maybe longer, depending on the product. And by the time you're finishing up the production for one collection, you may be starting development for the next one. So having Tech Packer can not only help you manage your tech packs, but it's also great to keep your development on track. Now, if you're not ready for all that, maybe your business isn't consistent enough and you're not managing enough styles to warrant a Tech Packer subscription, Excel, Google Sheets, is just fine. And if you need a tech pack template to start with, you can click the link in the description to download mine for free. But if you are ready to streamline your product development, I invite you to try tech packer. I do have an affiliate link in the description. And if you sign up for tech packer through that link and use the code also listed in the description, you'll get a 5% discount. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the links in the description to try because there is a free trial or sign up for Tech Packer. Or if you aren't ready to sign up just yet, download my free Excel Tech Pack template. And of course, check out more videos on this channel for additional Tech Pack tips, including the videos here. I can never remember which way to point. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.